five or so. I don't remember writing this song. This is a funny thing. I don't remember writing this song. And then I played it a few times um, when I first started working with Mark Dan, the bass player. And Mark recorded it. And then I forgot all about it for years and years and years. And then uh, Mark played me the tape of it about like 10 years ago. And we started thinking, maybe we should record it sometime. And then I wrote it into the book, and it's in the book. And so we recorded it on Later That Night, my newest CD. And it just became the number one song on folk radio in America about wow. two weeks ago, according to uh, I better get Roots on the music. ball. I better start playing this <clears throat> you song. You should. Yeah. <laughs> Songs may come and songs may go, but you go right on singing. You make a man feel bolder to see you stand so proud. And you look just like a raven, a raven out on a cloud. Take a walk down by the sea The gulls and the children yearn For sailing ships out on the water Some never do return And I will take you by the hand And feel the four winds blow And you look just like a raven Raven out on the snow Chances come and chances are We do not linger long Dancing down the water's edge The waves break castles down And I will take you in the sand as the sunlight fades away And you look just like a raven A raven out on the gray Touching you is touching me I thought that feeling lost And I will see you safe to harbor And if we never meet again I'll remember you like a raven A raven out on the wind I'll remember you like a raven A raven out on the wind Live in the WLRN studio, Rod McDonald. That's a beautiful song, Rod. Thank you. And you said that's an old tune. 
Yeah, I wrote it, I'm, I'm guessing, in about 1975. Well, you know, when I was writing the book, I wanted to include songs that a young guy would write. I didn't want to use the stuff that I wrote, you know, three years ago. So I went back kind of and thought, well, what did I have? You know, I mean, there were a handful of songs, that one in particular, uh, that people still ask for every once in a while at gigs. My sister has asked me to record it a bunch of times. Um, Sleepless Nights is another one of those that it's it's described kind of in detail how he writes it in the book and I actually wrote that in 75 or 76. I, I don't remember writing it all that much but I remember that it was around. There's a scene in the book when your character uh, uh, Rio McGregor finally gets into the recording studio Yeah, and the producer kind of like changes it all to makes this course shorter, do this longer. It, it changes the songs completely from the original did that experience happen to you? Actually, it's yes. Uh, in fact, that is very much how John Hammond actually worked. Mm. Um, but he doesn't change the songs. He what he does is he takes your song and you play it for him. And usually he'll say like, you know that chorus that.